was the drummer. But most of you don't know that I was the fifth drummer of Nirvana. For whatever reason, I got to be the luckiest person in the world and also be in Nirvana. But I have to give credit to all of the other drummers that came before me. Aaron Burkhart, thank you very much. Dale Grover from the Melvins, who is my absolute drumming hero. Dan Peters from Mud Honey. Chad Channing, who is the drummer of Nirvana. Guess what Chad's responsible for? If you listen to a song like In Bloom, the ban and it ban that's Chad. We came from this underground punk rock scene where there really were no awards or ceremonies or trophies. It was all about doing it for real, and the reward was doing it right and sharing the community of music, helping other musicians and inspiring people. And so I got really lucky to grow up in the Washington, D.C. punk rock scene where I was inspired by all of these amazing people. Too many to list. I'm also lucky that when we first started out, we didn't know anything about business. We were in a fucking van, you know, buying corn dogs from t-shirts that we had sold. And we were lucky that we met a manager named John Silva, and we met an accountant named Lee Johnson. And I'm happy to say that I've never, ever strayed from those two people in my life. That's like 25 years. John Cutcliffe and Michael Meisel and... I mean, it's a long list of people that I'm going to forget most of them. But most of all, I have to thank my family because I was lucky enough to grow up in a musical family in an environment that encouraged music. Parents that never told me not to listen to fucking Slayer. You know what I mean? I listened to some really, really fucked up shit. But my parents never told me not to because I was finding myself. So, Mom, thanks. Thanks for letting me drop out of high school. <laughs> Kids, stay in school, don't do drugs. It's a bad idea. I have to thank my beautiful wife, Jordan, and my two daughters that I hope grow up to inspire people just like every musician I grew up inspired by. Because I think that's the deal, is that you look up to your heroes and you shouldn't be intimidated by them. You should be inspired by them. Don't look at the poster on your wall and think, fuck, I could never do that. Look at the poster on the wall and think, fuck, I'm gonna do that. And then you do this. Thank you.